Daz, you must be really pleased with what the boys did there tonight because Penrith are a good side. Good side, physically good. Um, they played some good football. We had to match that that work ethic and desire first, which is what we spoke about, you know, in the last couple of days in training when we could get the boys together. Um, and it was a, a really good cup, cup final, I thought. Penrith, credit to them, scored a great goal. Probably one of their own goals was a little bit unlucky, but the other, I thought, was good play from Huss, and he had no option but to put it into his net. Some good combination plays down that left-hand side. Um, yeah, I'm generally excited for the boys. It's, an, it's a nice way to, to end the season. It's a silly thing to say because it's good to score any time, but the two goals in the first half came at really good times. Yeah, we, we, we'd we worked on that, um, about how we were going to score goals against, if we keep putting balls in the box, big centre box, big big strong boys who deal with it, men's football, uh, week in, week out. So, were we going to score from there? Probably not. How were we going to do it? Get combinations down the, down the byline, get pullbacks, get crosses going across the six-yard box. And we thought that might cause a problem. So, and you know, luckily it, it, it's paid off two on goals. But as I say, one of them, I think, if he doesn't put it in, someone else does from our point of view. So yeah, two great goals in, in, in quite close together. Yeah. Andy Coyles was always going to send them out revved up. You must be particularly pleased with the way the boys responded to that second half. Yeah, because it, they had a, a really strong positive 20 minutes, and the goal was a, an excellent finish um, to go, to make it 2-1. Then it was nervy, but they, they hung in. You know, they, they worked really hard. They kept forcing Penrith to play backwards as, as much as they could. And, and then in the end, obviously, it's a, it's, a, it's a late goal, but what an excellent finish. You know, late on in the game, really tired Charlie, but his composure to find that finish was brilliant. A couple of chances for Kieran as well. He kept finding them spaces. Yeah, that, that's I'm gutted for him a little bit. He, he had to work so hard. Sometimes when there's only one up front, you, you, your work rate goes unnoticed. But then, you know, if he could have just taken one of them chances, which he normally does, to be fair, that's, that's got him a contract this year, his finishing ability. Um, he'll be disappointed, but... At at the same time, you know, the runs he makes are very positive and, you know, the, the runs off shoulders are good. Hurricane, whatever the name was in Cleetham, there were some really wild nights. This makes it worthwhile. It does, and, and we said that before, and that, that physically wise, the Cleeter game was the, the toughest one they'll come through. If they can play football on that park and, and keep the keep the game expansive and make it open, then we, we would have legs to, to hopefully win the game, and that's that's what they've done tonight. They've shown some good spirit as well. So, as I say, I, you know, it's a great way to end the season, and I'm really chuffed for them. We, also, a lot of schoolboys playing tonight as well, which is great. What does it say about Liam and Kieran Casson that they've come back and played this last game, having been released effectively? Yeah, brilliant. Um, and they'll be delighted. You know, they've got a chance to, to lift the trophy at the end as well, which it meant a lot to them. They're the two that said right at the start they'd like to play the last time, potentially, to play on that on that pitch. It shows, you know, sometimes when you've got... You find Cumbrians and you bring Cumbrians in as schoolboys, what it means to them, and that, that just typifies that tonight. Josh Dixon, the other side of it in the stands, Kieran Kerr out on the pitch, they're the guys who've made it through. What was it like giving them that news? Yeah, great. It's always a, a great time. It, does, it doesn't It does overshadow the other side of it where, you, you know, you've got to let others go, but but that is, you know, the icing on the cake. And, and if we can get some making debuts um, and then going on to make five, ten, twenty appearances, that that's, that's when you know that, you know, you've sort of nailed one or two uh, who can go, you know, uh, a long way in the game. So hopefully, you know, this batch c- can go on and make some performances for the football club. I'll use Brock and Cass as an example of this again. I remember when you took this job over, you said you needed to build some kind of team ethos, team togetherness, and them to get in to pick the trophy up. That shows what everybody thinks of each other. Yeah, you, you, you know, it's not like a first team environment where you can bring loans in or ship people out, bring them back in. You, you stay together for two years and you become tight. And I think that, like you say, that that showed their two performances were, were really good tonight. And, and, I, and I'm really chuffed for them too. It's not only from me, Daz, you've said it already, but for you, it's a, it's a long, hard season as well. People tend to forget that. What does this mean to you for the boys to have picked that up? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm really pleased for them. And, and the fact that we were able to, to bed some 16s in, you know, Adam Walton right back, you know that that's a, a really good mature performance from him, and then Lewis Bell comes on and shows his power and his energy levels and his abilities, um, and then more some uh, then first year. So we keep saying it. We, we we've got to get excited when we see the young lads perform like that. But ultimately, is can we make him into professionals? So this is a great way to end it. Um, it'll make. You know the awards on Sunday night. The lads will be buzzing to to be to see their trophy there. So it, it's a 
like I, I say, it's a great way for them to finish, and I'm, I'm really chuffed for them all. I said last one, but definitely the last one. Jared, how much of a disruption was that when he, he reported in with illness? I'm gutted for Jared because he, he, he's desperate to play football, and and you know he, he's been with the first team and, and not you know lads have come back from injury, and he hasn't he hasn't had a chance. And I know he's buzzing to play. He, he just picked up a sickness bug and, and was ill from dinner time today so we couldn't risk him bringing it into the football club and it's spreading everywhere so it, he'll be gutted and I know the lads will be will be messaging him now he, he was messaging them all about five o'clock wishing him the well so it, he'll be gutted but you know he, he'll get further opportunities in football I'm sure of it. Yeah um, what a great finish wasn't it Jared you know Anyway, but the minute, was why did you get Charlie get bad finish of bad quality? Good finish, wasn't it? Mm. We'll be able to, if that was on match of the day to, the, tonight, that would be shown all the time, Brad. That goal, wouldn't it? Mm. Hey, I know it's against Penrith. I'm sorry about that, but it was a really good goal, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, when we have a player got injured, it was a difficult time. Yeah. Stuart Gray was going off injured. And, you said before the game, didn't you discuss any penalty takers? It was decided a penalty shootout was your five players being that penalty shootout should have been in the end. We'd, we'd organised it, we hadn't taken penalties, but we did organise them, they knew they were. Yeah, we spoke at half time about that, so them five knew which ones they were. I think they were getting nervous actually when it went to 2 1. Mm. When when I saw today, it was quite a good of passes of play. Hey, Louis Graham was assisting, so was a great goalkeeper from Everton, by, by mind. Mm. But can Everton fans watch that Louis Graham guy from Carlisle was a great one of our great goalkeeper? Good goalkeeper, isn't he? I bet he's gutted that Adam Collins is also at the football club, eh? Otherwise, mm. he might have played some more games this year. We've got two good goalkeepers. We're very fortunate, aren't we? Mm. What do you think? This is enough of all for Canada. You know, you won the Cumberland Cup this year and now focus on next season. What do you and Jab Scouting do in for next season, as always? Well, now we've finished, we've got to now plan pre season ready to get the boys fit to start again and hope that this time next year we meet Penrith in the Cumberland Cup again. No chance. <laughs> I didn't say we'd win, I said we hope we'll play them again in the Cup final. No chance. Um, clear to move again. It was quite a game, wasn't it? Jason Kennedy's first ever goal. Yeah. For you. Cumberland Cup goal. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, clear to move, I'm a good team. Good team. We were the uh, holders of last year. So who, did they, who did they beat last year? Oh, was it? Oh, sorry. Was that? Was, no. it, oh. ah. was it Penrith again? Was it? Ah. Don't let me wind you up, Brad. Ah. Hey. I forgot hey. there, Brad. Yeah, sorry. Three years, three seasons. Can you tell me why Penrith have none win the Copper and Cup? Three years in the draft. Oh, now you're putting me on the spot, wow. Brad. Um, I'm not sure actually. Maybe a lack of goals. I don't know. What do you think? Well, we know what we're doing really well, but we know. Knocking that final quality for final touch. So that's the hardest bit, scoring goals, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, you didn't do it again tonight, and we did, <laughs> and we win three one. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, um, one, one more, Brad, and then we'll go. Yeah, okay. Hey, we, uh, we, I discussed about you know how football can be. Hey, are you looking? The Ruggerton Strokes on the line, and no, this is a popular spot. Are you going to be from you, manager of Merkington, if you don't, if you can say the Carlisle? Ooh. Well, hopefully, I won't get the sack after winning the Cumberland Cup. So, but no, I won't be the new manager of Workington Reds. But, 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 Gav Scouton will. Gavin probably won't be the. <laughs> Manager working some red tie then. Brad. Who's going to win the Premier League? Oh. Yes, Liverpool. Good lad, Brad. Lend on that one. Thanks, Brad.